All right, guys, this is Van again. Uh, I just got the uh, the decals on uh, uh, the Fonzie build. Uh, but, man, I tell you what, all these decals about killed me. The only thing it was was a uh, Triumph emblem on the tank. And uh, it's got to be the least amount of <laughs> decals that I've ever had to do. Uh, but, anyways, I've got this thing done. Um, I put a whole lot more detail in it than what, you know, uh, actually was supposed to be there, but, uh, that's part of modeling, so, um, and by the pictures, the guy that, uh, uh, owns this, he, uh, he is tickled with it, so, I'm gonna take it to him tonight at work, if I can, I'm gonna get a video of him, uh, getting it, so, uh, uh, all right, let me uh, tell you a little bit what I've done here. Uh, we'll wait till that thing gets spun around a little bit here, and then we'll uh, uh, take a look at her. Okay, now the figure was all painted except for uh, his face. It wasn't finished up. Um, he's got that cro magnon look uh, by the way it was molded, and I was really afraid to, uh, uh, you can see by the side profile right there, I was really afraid to, you know, sand a little bit on him, uh, on his forehead, and might lose quite a bit of detail. Um Freddy might come out looking like Bart Simpson instead of uh, Fonzie, but anyways, uh, I repainted uh, the flesh tones and blackwashed them. Um, the t-shirt was painted gray, and I went back and repainted it white, because i never seen Fonzie wear a gray t-shirt. It was always a white one. Um, got his eyebrows and everything put in, a little bit of flesh tone, uh, uh, a little bit of blush, I guess, on his lips and his uh, cheeks there to give it more depth and everything. And, uh, see, let me spin this around just a little bit. I blackwashed his jeans back here in the back uh, to highlight the uh, pockets and stuff. Um, and then I've done a little bit on his boots, on the, uh, the soles and the heels and everything of his boots down here. Um... That's about all I've done to the figure. Everything else was done. Uh, but the bike, that was another story. Um, the uh, the kickstart lever was broke off. Um, the, uh, let's see, uh, <clears throat> this model is old. Um, it, uh, it was brittle as everything. And, uh, of course, when I got it, the, the kickstart was broke and the uh, the fender supports was snapped off. Um, and while I was getting it uh, assembled, uh, the handlebars right here broke. So I had to uh, pin them and get them all done. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it, it went together pretty good. It, it fought me just a little bit by it being brittle, but it went together real good. Um, the fender support that I made out of brass rod worked out perfect. Uh, it is the uh, the best uh, job that I've ever done as far as uh, fabricating something like it and, and soldering it together. Uh, I wired the battery up and uh, uh, put the positive and negative on it and then uh, right here in the... Uh, uh, electrical box I got all the wiring coming out of it um, I scratch built the tack and uh, put the wires coming out of it um, we've got the uh, the clutch cable here um, as you can see I've got the weathering done on the uh, the pipes where they're turned um, I didn't like the kickstand that came with it uh, and it was also broke so what I done was I just made a uh, like a, just a regular kickstand and put it up 
on the middle part of the frame. Um, and uh, I even put uh, went as far as putting valve stems in the wheels. Um, probably see it right there. Uh, got that done for a little extra detail. The seat, uh, I went over it and uh, I put uh, tissue paper down to give it. Oh, sorry, to give it more texture. Um, and then after I done that, I painted it black and put. Uh, some satin uh, finish on it. Um, the tail light, uh, all I, all they came with was a uh, just a black tail light, and I painted it the signal red. Um, let's see, I got the uh, the linkage put in on the brakes, um, and then I got the brake cable around here on the front wheel. Um, and then of course all the wiring you, you can see right here I got uh, uh, I used a, two crimp beads and a piece of beading wire to uh, do the uh, the fuel line coming down to the carburetor um, and thanks to MC Garage the uh, the trick on the, the crimp beads man they work great perfect for fittings um, and then that's about it. Uh, the guy that was supposed to put this thing together, he uh, uh, got this plaque to put it on, but it it was rough as everything. Uh, it's probably one that shouldn't have been put in a lot to sell. So what I had to do, I sanded most of it out, and then I took uh, some baking powder and mixed it in with uh, some uh, gloss black uh, apple barrel uh, acrylic paint and spread it on uh, this plaque here to give it a rough texture to look like roughed up plywood or not plywood but uh, pavement and uh, then I put uh, got some uh, shapes cut out and while I was putting that stuff down uh, used it for a form to uh, make potholes um, and then right there's what they look like I've got a pothole here and I've got one up here behind the front wheel uh, but other than that, the, the build went together great, and it's done, and I'm going to take it to the guy tonight, and uh, it, this one right here will be in the books. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next.